Welcome to Tech Solution Z, the channel where we explore Linux, technology, and performance tweaks made simple. In this video, we're taking a close look at what's new in MX Linux 25 Infinity KDE Edition. This release brings the power of Debian 13 Trixie together with the beauty of KDE Plasma 6.3.6 .6, and it's easily one of the most polished MX Linux experiences to date. MX25 comes with a refreshed base built on Debian 13, giving you updated software, newer libraries, and long-term support straight from the source. Underneath, the KDE edition has switched to Plasma 6.3.6, .6, and that instantly brings smoother animations, better display scaling, and a Wayland session that finally feels ready for daily use. Wayland is now the default session, which means better gesture handling cleaner graphics, and fewer visual bugs on high-resolution displays. But if you prefer the classic X11 session, it's still just a click away at login. On the kernel side, the standard edition ships with Linux 6.12 LTS, tuned for reliability, while the AHS edition brings the newer Licorix 6.16 kernel for improved support on modern CPUs and GPUs. So whether you're running older hardware or the latest Ryzen and Intel chips, MX25 covers both ends gracefully. A big part of what makes MX unique is its toolset, and in this release, those tools have been completely upgraded to Qt 6 for smoother performance on modern desktops. You'll also notice that apt notifier is gone, replaced by the new MX updater, which gives you a cleaner update window and lets you pick between APT and NALA as your back end. It's faster, clearer, and much more user-friendly. The installer also gets a smart upgrade with a replace existing installation option, letting you reinstall MX Linux without wiping your home folder. Perfect if you want to refresh your system, but keep your files and settings intact. There's also secure boot support on 64-bit UEFI when you use signed Debian kernels, which finally makes MX easier to install on newer laptops that ship with Secure Boot enabled. In the KDE edition, a few desktop refinements make everyday use even better. QMIGV replaces GwenView as the default image viewer. It's lightweight and opens instantly. Dolphin, the file manager, adds root actions and smoother service menus. Power management now runs on Power Profiles Daemon, keeping KDE's battery and performance modes in sync with your hardware. You'll also spot a refreshed theme, updated wallpapers, and a few new Ponky widgets that keep your desktop both informative and stylish. MX Cleanup has been improved too. You can now remove unused DKMS Wi-Fi drivers and extra language manuals with just a click, freeing up space and keeping the system lean. Combine that with the stability of Debian 13 and the flexibility of KDE Plasma, and MX25 feels like one of the best mid-weight desktop Linux distributions right now. So, in short, you get a cleaner design, smoother updates, easier installation, more security, and an up-to-date KDE experience, all without losing MX's reliability and control. If you're coming from MX23, there's an upgrade path available, but for most users, a fresh install will give the best results. That's all for today's look at MX Linux 25 Infinity KDE Edition. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Tech Solution Z, and turn on notifications for more Linux and tech tutorials every week. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep your system fast and free.